open up the greenhouse, check and see if the snow melted, if it's melted or even half melted, throw more snow in. So got to do that. And then, oh, I think I need more wood. Yeah, I got to get my wheelbarrow here and fill it up so I can have a good supply of wood. And that's that. But today's going to be probably a short day, maybe two and a half, three hours, because I need to teach in the afternoon or late afternoon. What's the temperature right now? Right now, it's about minus 14. It's not that bad. It's not minus 30. So minus 14 is okay. Anyways, my fingers are a little bit cold, so I got to make this short. And I got to start working. All right, so that's my plan for today. Shovel the snow or clean the snow, get some wood and put snow into the greenhouse. And then if I have time, maybe I'll start on some kind of project or something. Okay, gotta go to work. Well, I've managed to shovel everything around my shop and down here. And I got to the first greenhouse and I opened it up and Check it out. Take a look at how much the snow melted. I'm going to turn the camera around. Let's check this. So even though we've had minus temperatures for the better part of a, what, two weeks ago when I did this, it's melted. So I guess it does warm up in here to above zero for it to start melting. So here it is, so while I'm shoveling out there, I will throw the snow in here. All right, back to work. So this greenhouse is finished. I threw in the snow and now I still need to clean this right here down to that other shed over there and throw snow inside that greenhouse there it is let's get back to work i made it to the second greenhouse over here let's go open that up let's take a look and see how much snow melted i don't know you and i will be the first ones to look at it come on let's go open up the door Hmm. Well, it also melted a bit. So I'm going to throw more snow into the greenhouse. I don't know. I think it's funny. Yeah. Throwing snow into the greenhouse. Who knew? Like in the last throwing snow in the greenhouse video. I am just amused by it. But whatever, if uh, that's what the wife wants, that's what I'm going to do. Like they say, happy wife, happy life, happy greenhouse. All right, back to work. There it is. Snow inside the greenhouse. So this side is filled up. And this side, my wife said to leave it. So I don't know. That's what she wants. That's what she wants. Less work for me. Okay, so I'm done. And what do we got left here? Well, let's take a look. So we have the path all done. And we just got this little bit to do right here. I don't know, five minutes, 10 minutes. And then I gotta go fill up the wheelbarrow with firewood. All right, back to work. There it is, all done to the doors of this shed. And the walkway is done. Let's turn the camera around. Let's go back to our dacha. Okay. So, everything is shoveled. And we have the walkway back in order. Uh, the grass here is starting to poke out. So, this part of our walking area, whatever, is going to melt pretty soon so yeah spring is in the air definitely 
Spring is here. I could smell it. Oh, feel it, sense it. I don't know. What's an adjective to describe it? Anyways, it's spring is here. Um, I remember last year, I think it was around April 8th or 10th. All this right here was gone. So that's six weeks from now. Yeah, I had the boys working with me here. So yeah, once the stone starts to melt, it's going to disappear pretty quick. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Grab the wheelbarrow, load up some firewood, bring it over, park it over here, and figure out what kind of project am I going to start building. Because I have all day tomorrow, Friday, I could come out here. I have all day Saturday, I could come out here. And I have probably half of Sunday. So in the three days, I can probably build something. Anyways, first things first, turn this wheelbarrow around and let's fill it up with firewood. Well, the wheelbarrow is filled up and how much firewood do we have left? Well, there's a row and a half here and this is last year's stuff. This stuff is pretty bad. Couldn't build anything with it, so burn it. But we've got still five rows of this wood right here beautiful wood um and it's thicker see compared to this over here very thin kind of punky meaning it's just kind of starting to rot it's only good for firewood but this one right here is much bigger stronger burn longer so looks like i'm gonna end up burning that next year Plus, I still have my reserve. I've got that pile over there. I've got some rounds over there. And right over there, I have the pallets. I have the the four by sixes, the ends. So still got lots of wood, lots of kindling. So I'm kind of a little bit ahead for next year. And now I'm thinking, what am I gonna do once I bring the wheelbarrow over there i'm gonna start in some project so i was thinking okay i've got this wood right here I was thinking why not build another shelf oh maybe that's what i'll do i'll take some boards out and i'll figure it out i want to build another shelf and i think the good spot for it will be inside the veranda over there so you know, if we come into the dacha and you want to put stuff like on a shelf or whatever, you don't want it laying on the ground. Perfect. There it is. So I'm going to gather my pieces and I have no idea what it's going to end up looking like. I'll just kind of wing it. Why? Well, I, I do have an idea in my head, but um, there's no way that I'll finish it today. I'll just probably just get the the boards or the lumber figure out what pieces I need and if they are too frozen so the thing is I could cut them with Mad Max and then I'll put them inside the dacha here inside my workshop so that uh, they warm up and then when I come up here tomorrow I will uh, have the pieces ready to go they're not going to be frozen and I can start sanding and putting things together all right, so there it is. Wheelbarrow load of firewood. Not going to burn it all today. So I'll have some leftover for tomorrow, which is good. Less work tomorrow or next time I come. And oh, I just noticed this. It's actually starting to snow. It was not in the forecast, but I don't know if you could see it. But it's just this dusting. And what I shoveled over here even though it's minus 12 right now that's what it was on the radio i can kind of feel it believe it or not it's starting to melt so i guess the sun factor or something i don't know but i could feel it's kind of soft underneath okay gotta go to work Come with that. well i'm done for today uh, i got my lumber pieces ready actually they're inside the shop 
they're gonna thaw out because they're frozen and that's that I'm going home I gotta bring my little stool home so that was completed last time around and that's that here's one thing I want to show you it's right behind me I'm gonna turn the camera around I'll explain check this out we have a lake an ice lake forming over here and it's starting to come across the road okay I'll show you a little bit further we'll walk over there I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so as it's thawing the snow is melting and there's a creek over here and this creek is uh, actually here's the bridge right here this is the bridge right here but uh, there's a culvert or I guess it's it is like a bridge not a culvert so the water goes from there goes right underneath me and down that little gully but the thing is is that once this right here is frozen everything starts to make a turn and it goes down there and what's happening is there's a lake that is forming so this is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when everything starts melting will this section over here actually thaw out so that everything will run down that gully i don't know i mean take a look at that that's got to be about at least five feet five feet of solid ice so that has to melt to work its way down which this section over here has to melt to open up i bet you the the bridge right underneath is one big solid hunk of ice so it's going to be interesting to see so i'm going to keep my eye on it why am i interested well because this right here if this starts building up it's going to go across the road down our little street and if it goes down our little street it's going to start washing out the road so that's not good so We'll keep an eye on it. You can see here, this is some fresh melt right here. I don't know. We'll see next couple days what happens. Okay, gotta go home. See you later. Bye, cut.